What's up guys, Brian Elliott here, and I'm gonna be looking at a video tripod today for under $100 that you should definitely not sleep on if you're in the market for a new video tripod for your mirrorless camera. That is the Magnus VT350 tripod. Nice simple tripod, less than $100. Well, let's talk about it. So the Magnus stands at a minimum of 26 inches when the legs are all closed up like this and a maximum of 82 inches with the legs all extended and the center pole extended as well. This is fantastic because it's one of the tallest tripods you can get in an affordable range without needing to get like a crazy tower and even a lot of really expensive tripods do not go nearly this high which is one of my favorite features about it, especially when I was shooting a ton of weddings and even now when I shoot a lot of other events because I can get over people's heads in the crowd and get a nice clean shot of the stage or whatever I'm shooting. I got a nervous little puppy here. Yes, I know, you're like, why the hell are you doing the crazy reviews, man? She never understands when I'm doing my YouTube videos. She's like, dude, what the hell? I just want to sleep on your lap. Now the tripod does have a focus bubble that obviously is going to be off because I'm showing you that nice little green bubble right there. It's not a feature that I personally use a whole ton, but it is there on the tripod if you want it. The tripod, as I mentioned, does have a center that comes up quite a bit like this and that's part of how it can get to its 82 inches. Some tripods don't have an extending center. Now, do be aware that you're not going to have as much stability with that center all the way up if you're dealing with winds or things like that. Now, the Magnus does have its own proprietary tripod plate right there. Uh, so if you're wanting to use something like a Manfrotto, quick release plate or something like that, you're going to have to attach it on top of this, you know, attach a mount on top of here so you can slide your quick release plate in. But there are workarounds, but that's something to note. The downside of using this plate with a Manfrotto or without is you've only got the one screw right here. So if you've got, you know, a bigger camera like the FX9 or something that I used to have, you are not gonna have a way to lock it down at multiple points, so it's going to be a lot more wobbly and you're gonna get more jitters than uh, if you had you know, a Manfrotto that had a nice long plate that you could put multiple screws in. But for mirrorless and small cameras, the tripod is perfectly adequate, does a great job, not an issue. The tripod head itself is very nice. We can see it pans very nicely it tilts very smoothly. It's got a nice amount of resistance to the tilt and the pan. And you can adjust these little knobs on the side here to get more resistance or less resistance. You can really loosen these guys up and get a much smoother pan and tilt. The Magnus is basically built out of plastic. You could hear kind of like that creaking as I was holding the leg and the legs were kind of bumping and creaking. So it's a very light tripod, which is a double-edged sword. It's great because it's not super heavy. It's not an all metal tripod. It's gonna be really heavy to carry around, but it also means it's not gonna be super sturdy, super stable. It would be fairly easy to knock over. You know, if you're at a wedding reception and kids are running around, they could just like take your tripod out. Um, so you definitely would want to put some sandbags or weights or something to really lock it down, make it a little more secure. Personally, I'm really happy with the VT350 for the kind of work I do because it's kind of that nice balance of lightweight, really tall, and since I don't have the FX9 anymore or any big cameras or like to really build up my FX3 or you know my other cameras that much, it works perfectly for me. I think it's a great uh, low budget affordable option for pretty much any mirrorless scenario where you're not trying to make the camera look insane. So I hope that you guys found that helpful. If you wanna check out the camera, there is a link below. It is an affiliate link, 
So if you did decide to buy the tripod, I will get a small kickback, no extra fee to you. It does help out the channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, all the stuff that we YouTubers tell you to do, uh, feel free to do it or not, and I will catch you in the next one.